Hi there everyone and today I would like to show you an interesting chess game by Garry Kasparov against an interesting opponent. Uh, this chess game was an exhibition chess game which was played in 1986. Uh, so in this chess game the legend, the beast, Garry Kasparov has the white pieces and his opponent was Petra Sherman. And who was Petra Sherman? A, a very interesting opponent. Uh, so Gary Kasparov's opponent was a celebrity. Uh, she was a German actress, model and TV announcer. Uh, and she was also beauty queen uh, who won Miss World title in 1956. So she was the beauty queen of Germany, uh, from Germany in Miss World in 1956. So... Uh, this chess game uh, was actually played in 1986, so she was basically ex-beauty queen at this time, uh, but she also knew how to play chess, uh, so let's see what happened in this chess game. Uh, also, only for the records, uh, Miss Sherman was born in 1933 and she passed away in 2010. Uh, so most definitely... She has checkmated a lot of hearts in 1950s. Let's see if she has managed to checkmate it, Gary Kasparov. <laughs> so I'm going to call this chess game the beauty versus the beast. An amazing pun for this chess game, isn't it? Okay, so the beast from Baku, Gary Kasparov, starts the game with playing e4. We have e5 and then the bishop's opening by Gary Kasparov. Knight to f6, d3, d6, f4, uh, knight to c6, knight to f3. So, so far so good. Actually, black is playing very logical. So, developing the knight, b6, black is going to fianchetto uh, her bishop, a3, bishop to b7, and queen to d7, b4, rook over. And this was actually an unnecessary move. Uh, so, basically, simply castling. It should have been considered uh, castling from the king side would be better, uh, but uh, this was a little inaccurate move by Petra Sherman, and this was the first inaccurate move by her. So f5. Uh, so at this time Petra Sherman was 53 years old. Uh, maybe I mentioned that, uh, and she castled bishop to e3, developing the bishop by Gary Kasparov, finishing the development and then knight to g4, defending the bishop, king to b8, knight to d5, and then pushing the pawn, a logical move, so she basically also wants to open uh, the king side. Uh, meanwhile, Gary Kasparov is going to try to open the queen side. So this is what he's doing. This is a race. Pushing the pawn, g takes on f5, a takes on b6, c takes on b6, an accurate move. So actually right now uh, the position is for about equal, believe it or not. Almost almost 20 moves have been played. So we can easily say that Petra Sherman would definitely defeat it, easily defeat it, a beginner level chess player. So it is impressive that she also knows how to play chess. Uh, she has decent amount of knowledge about how to play chess. So we have b5 defending the knight and it is white to move. Well, Gary Kasparov decided to sacrifice his exchange. He played rook takes on a5. What a move. So he is attacking like a beast. Capturing the rook, what else? And then queen to a1. So he basically wants to open the a file and attack the king. So you can see that the bishop is also aiming the king. So bishop takes on d5, capturing on d5. Bishop takes on d5, simplifying the game, which was logical. And then Sherman wants to defend the a pawn. So she played queen to c7, but this was uh, missing the opportunity actually in this position. Leaving the pawn and quickly attacking your opponent would be better in this position. F takes on e4, d takes on e4, and then knight to f6. So one possible continuation goes like this. Knight takes bishop capturing and then queen to b7. And it looks like actually black is doing okay. So don't forget that white sacrificed the exchange. So this is why 
Actually, Black is doing okay in this position. Interesting. Uh, materially speaking and also positionally, actually, it is fine. But in this position, maybe Black is cracking under the pressure. Queen to c7 and then Rook to b1. So what was so wrong with playing Queen to c7? Well, basically, Black is losing some voluble tempo. We have King to c8 and then b6 by Gary Kasparov. So what else? And then bishop takes, defending the queen, but else, and not queen takes on a5, but Gary Kasparov is immediately going for the throat. He played queen to c3, so only move, and then besides, of course, blocking with the queen, and then discovered check, ouch, this looks bad. So queen to b7, and Kasparov simply captures the queen, only move, and then Kasparov checkmated his opponent at move 28. It was actually looking pretty good by uh, for Miss Sherman, but at the critical moment, she basically cracked under the pressure and she got checkmated eventually. An interesting chess game against an interesting opponent. So, thank you so much for watching. Uh, what do you think about this sweet little chess game by Gary Kasparov? It was an exhibition chess game, but it was an interesting and also pretty a fun, exciting chess game. So uh, I hope to see you next time with more amazing chess games. Stay safe, take care, and bye-bye.